going on. <laughs> So, um, yes, my mattress is on the floor, but it's because I haven't bought a bed frame yet. Then we moved house recently. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're done. So it's currently half four, um, and we're about to start. This book is huge compared to my head. I don't even know what to expect with this. I've just had it. It gives like Gossip Girl vibes, rich, rich kid vibes. I'll catch up with you once I've read. A little bit more. I know I said I'll update you once I read it, but clearly I haven't even read the back before. It says, She's a beautiful, self involved, and mildly neurotic London socialite, and he is Britain's most photographed bad boy who broke her heart. Here's me thinking it was set in New York. How did I not know that this was set in England? This kind of changes everything for me. almost midnight i started reading this at like half ten and i kind of can't stop reading i need to because i've got work in the morning but i can't stop it's like addictive there isn't even that much to the plot so far but in the same breath there is so much going on oh my god i love it i'll let you know when i read more please ignore what's going on with my hair right now i've literally just like clipped it back i just hate when my like front piece is it you know so it's the next day and it's 20 to 10. i've had a full day at work came home had work to do then i had dinner and stuff and just only now getting around to reading so here it is we are on chapter 13 subconsciously i haven't stopped thinking about this book like i keep thinking these characters even though we like obviously i'm not even 100 pages in yet so we haven't even touched the story clearly but i just I can't stop thinking about them. I've got Destiny on the TV. Oh, my laptop was on. Here we go. Come here. Oh. <laughs> Hi. book is making me feel things so the time is now quarter to 11 i think i'm gonna like finish here tonight i'm on page 146 oh how far oh it feels like i've read a lot but this book is like bipolar one minute i'm like oh yay so happy so cute like it's just ended on like a that chapter is my dog's just fried and that really stinks it's just ended on a really cute bit which is not very often so now i'm scared to read on <laughs> Because you just know something bad is gonna happen. You just know. I can't even explain the plot. It's just like day-to-day -day life going through this group of friends. And if you would have told me that, I'd have been like, that sounds so boring. <laughs> like, I don't wanna read that. But it's so interesting. I'm enjoying it. And I can just guarantee you all day I'm gonna think about it tomorrow. And I'm not gonna be able to read it until I get home. I'll update you tomorrow. Hello. I have been so looking forward to coming home and reading this. I can't even, I can't even tell you. I've been thinking about it all day. But first I have to eat dinner.
I always still filming at the most important bit. Happy 1st of September, everybody. Anyway, I'm in the car right now. Um, this, I was terrible. <laughs> I look like Jedward. I'm in the car right now and I'm about to get my lashes done. It's quarter to 10, so I'm like 15 minutes early. I've actually got Magnolia Parks on my Kindle. I've got a few appointments today. I'm going to also get my hair done. I didn't even, oh, I didn't even do a recap last night, did I? Yes, yeah, so I didn't do an, an update yesterday evening, um, but I guess you could kind of see from my reactions that I was going to, I mean, the whole book is juicy, so I wouldn't call it a juicy part, but like, it was juicy. I still, I was just thinking, if someone asked me or saw me reading in like a salon or something, I was like, oh, what are you reading? What would I even say? What would you call this? It's not romance, but I am actually really enjoying it. I, at first I was kind of reading it thinking, what is all the hype about? It's literally just following this really toxic couple or friendship group, really. You just get sucked into the world and you can't help it. I'm going to quickly read for like, oh, I guess like 10 minutes now and then we will go from there. I literally look like the fucking mad scientist from Back to the Future. I'll just take this bit out. Anyway. Okay, so I'm back from my appointments. My hair is done. My lashes. I read quite a bit while I was at the salon. So I'm literally like hunched over. Let me, that's better. So I'm now on page 326 of the real book. It says on my Kindle that I could literally finish this in like an hour, it says I've got left. So I'm just gonna literally read the rest of this. It's, what can I say? Um, it's getting, juicy it's confusing me that the next book is daisy hates because she's not even that prominent of a character like we've literally met her twice maybe we've just got to julian's who is i think daisy's brother because his name is julian hates <laughs> so we just got to his birthday party so i mean maybe that's why it leads on to daisy hates Okay, so I'm on page 410. There's 419. And I've just read this line. And I don't want to read. I literally instantly just went. Oh no, I haven't looked at it since. I don't want to read on. <laughs> I can't. So I read on for a couple more lines and then it's just there's been a break in the in the paragraphs. <sighs> and I thought I'd record it because this is obviously gonna be um a clusterfuck. <sighs> I feel like I'm gonna cry. Wait. Oh my god. I know that's not what anyone wants to hear at this point. Yeah. I need to come back with an update because I can't do it now. So it's time for the wrap up kind of summary of what I thought. Um, I loved it. I loved it so much. At the beginning, I kind of thought, what is the hype about this? This kind of just seems boring. It kind of just seems like we're following around these characters and I'm not normally someone that reads a book that's very character driven, which I think this definitely is. I was just kind of like, hmm. Mm, it's, it's not giving me anything and then the more and more i read on you just root for these people it just takes such an emotional toll on you because especially if you're someone that's in a relationship as well I'm not saying that this is like anyone else's kind of relationship i doubt this is very common <laughs> just imagining myself in magnolia's position oh my god i would have literally had a breakdown years years and years ago i just think what jessa writes and how she writes these characters makes you love them so much but it's like you want to hate them 
you want to hate and just be like what the f what is going on right now why are you acting like this this is not normal and i don't know maybe this is what high class london is like i don't know but overall i did give this five stars because i haven't stopped thinking about it since and i wanted to jump kind of straight into daisy hates but i just couldn't do that to myself i needed a break obviously i don't agree with a lot of the things that went on in the book like and oh my god the ending i don't know why i didn't see that coming obviously that was gonna happen i mean well, <laughs> see i just i'm speechless so five stars from me enough with the ran enough with the ran but thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and if you want me to do daisy hates i will but just not yet i don't think i, can, I don't think i can take that personally anyway bye <laughs>